Gavin Bruni wants to represent the state's 21st district. Good old boy who wants to help the community. And so does Dade Phelan. I'm ready to represent Southeast Texas like it should be represented. Bruni is running as a Democrat, Phelan as a Republican. We have new windows. Bruni worked for the school Nederland School Board. He says he helped pass a bond to renovate schools like Hillcrest Elementary. I recognize that what parents have gone through, I understand about the testing issues. Education is a big issue for both candidates. I firmly believe that we're over testing these kids. We're wasting half a billion dollars a year on all of this testing, and I believe that the number of tests dramatically need to be reduced. Phelan says he supports House Bill 5, which will incorporate more vocational and technical skills into learning and help the Southeast Texas community and workforce. These jobs are good paying jobs. You can graduate from a technical or vocational school with very little or, or no debt at 20 years old, making $80,000 a year. Or you can go to a four-year institution um, and get a degree, be eighty dollars to $100,000 in debt, and not be able to find a job. Phelan also knows about natural resources. He served as the president of the Lower Natchez Valley Authority. After water resources and transportation, Phelan says windstorm insurance is another problem. And it's a very complex problem with very simple solutions that would be very difficult to implement. But, um, you know, I'm going to request to be on the insurance committee. Bruni wants to find a different way to fund TWIA or privatize it. People in that live along the Gulf Coast in these 14 counties are winding up paying more uh, than our fair share. Running for office has given both candidates a fresh perspective. I didn't lose a lot of sleep when I volunteered on campaigns, and when you're a candidate, you certainly lose some sleep. Sometimes it doesn't take a whole lot of money to, uh, to win a race. Just having the right message and communicating with the people. In Beaumont, Kara Dixon, Fox 4 News.